I'm going to demonstrate how to tie a snell knot. Snell on a hook's not something that I do often. It's the only technique that I really use it for is when I'm well, fishing some soft plastics, but always when I'm using a punch rig. And I'll go over how to rig a punch rig in a later video, but just for now we'll kind of talk about the snell knot that I use. There's other ones, but this is the one I use. It's a really easy knot to use. And I know live bait fishermen like to use snell knots. Um, anytime you're fishing on the bottom, a lot of guys like to use snell knots. It's easy knot. It works good if you have any sort of hook with a straight shank. I'm using a flipping hook here for the video. This is the type of hook I would normally use when I tie a snell knot. So just take your braid or fluorocarbon or whatever line you're using. I'm going to put a weight on this too just to demonstrate something at the end here. Okay, so you take your hook. And you always want to put your line through the front of the hook with the side with the point. Give yourself 8 to 10 inches or so to work with. You take that line and you're going to put it flat down the back of the hook. Pinch it with this fin these fingers and then bring the hook around the front side bring it back where you put it through the line tie so now what you have is a loop right here like this and try not to get that loop crossed just keep everything flat next to each other then what you're going to do is you're going to pinch it again with your other hand all the line the braid and the hook and now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tag end and if your hook has a bait keeper like this one does everything's going to be on the above the bait keeper that we're doing here so take your tag end and what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the tag end around the shank of your hook now there's really no set number that i go with it's always different but maybe six to eight times start wrapping okay that's probably six or eight or so then what you're gonna do you're gonna take your tag end and you're gonna go back to that loop that we made and you're gonna pass the tag end through that loop and now you're gonna want to pull this line or pull this knot tight with the main line so take your tag end and pinch it against the hook so you're holding on to just the hook and the tag end of your line and then you can pull this cinch it tight with the main end of the line and then you can really pull it down good on both of them and you're going to cut your tag end That's what you got then. A really strong knot. It's a, it's a cool knot. The main reason that I like to use it is when I'm fishing with soft plastics. Sometimes you can, I don't know, maybe you feel like you're not hooking the fish as good as you could. A lot of times I think this weight maybe can get in the way. What the snell knot does is the pressure of, like when you set the hook, or just the pressure of this weight sitting at the top on top of the hook will do it too. Just watch what this hook does when this weight comes down on it. See how it kicks the hook off to the side like that? See if I can show you again. See that? Instead of that hook just hanging dead straight, it kicks it out to the side. Kind of hard to show you, but there you go. If I got it against my hand, it will just lay flat. But then when you pull on that line, it kicks it out. So I think it can help your hookup ratio a little bit. It's just kind of a cool tip. And I mean, it's definitely not the only application for this knot. It's just kind of a cool knot to know if you ever feel like you like to use it. But this is the main reason I use the snail knot. It's kind of cool. It just really makes that hook jump off to the side and I think it can maybe help your hookups a little bit so hopefully that's a tip that'll help you out so thanks for watching